In this video, we'll learn to use Samsung Wallet. So, let's get into it. The app is pre-installed on Samsung devices, so you can just search for it and open it. This is the start screen. Click on this continue button. The next screen is the sign in screen. My email is already filled, so I'll put in my password. Next, it will ask for the phone call permission. Lastly, let's enable fingerprints so only we can use the app. It will ask for a pin that can be used instead of fingerprints. Okay, this is the main interface. To add a card, tap on this add button or tap on the menu button. Then choose the payment card option. You will see this plus icon, touch here and the camera will open. To see the supported banks and cards in your country, click on this info button. This will take you to the dedicated page. There are three ways to add a card to Samsung Wallet. You can just scan a card and it will copy the details. You can also add details manually. However, the feature I like is the NFC option. With this, you can just tap your card on the back and it will get all the details. This will also ensure that your NFC is enabled and working. Next, add your name and the CVV to finish the process. Once that's done, you'll see this Terms of Service screen. Scroll down to read or click here to agree. We must verify this card. You'll see some verification methods. The most common is sending a code to your phone. This phone number is from your bank. Clicking here will SMS you a code which you must insert here to verify the card. That's it, you will see the added card. You can add another card or go back to the home screen. Tapping on a card takes you to the card details page. Samsung Wallet gives cards a digital card number that is shared with the business to keep your original card secure. You can also delete this card or contact your bank from here. The app supports many card types. You can add loyalty cards, vouchers, digital keys and even boarding passes. Let's add a loyalty card quickly. Tap on this plus icon and choose one of the options. I'll use the camera option and point it to the barcode to add. Insert a card name to remember later. That's it. Samsung Wallet also supports using one of the added cards as the transport card. It does not support transport passes, but if your transport system supports credit cards, you can enable the feature here. With this, you can use the card for transport even if the phone is locked. All right, let's see how to use Samsung Wallet. Open the app. If Samsung Wallet is your default payment app, you don't need to open it. Choose the card if you have multiple, unlock the app and tap the phone on the contactless terminal. You will hear a tone and the phone will vibrate. Once the payment is processed, you will get a notification. Tapping on it takes you to the payment overview where you will see the total amount and business name. You can also see your activity by opening card details in the app. Now before we go, let's cover the settings. This quick access feature adds a handle at the bottom of the screen. You can swipe up to use the app. However, I don't like it as it sometimes opens when I unlock my phone. The app also lets you disable the verification method in this menu. We have some other options in the settings, but I hardly touch them. So this is it. Thanks for watching the video. Please let me know what you think of Samsung Wallet below and take care.